What's up, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the three keyword match types that you should be using and only using, okay? I'm going to go through what they are, how they work, why you need them, and what to stay away from. Because if you if you start using what I'm, t I'm about to tell you to stay away from, Google is going to crush you and drag you through the mud, I'm telling you. All right? So let's get right to it. Okay, welcome back. So as I stated in the little intro to this video, today we're going to be going through keyword match types and um, how they work, what they are. So there's three there's three keyword match types you want to use and one you, you want to stay away from at all costs, okay? So the three you want to use are exact match, phrase match, modified broad match, okay? Write those down. The one you want to stay away from is broad match. I don't care what anyone tells you. If you're just starting out in AdWords and you're not really sure what you're doing, or even if you're a little bit advanced at AdWords, if you don't if you don't know how to use broad match, you're gonna get destroyed. They will Google will waste all of your money. You'll probably get no leads, and you'll just it's gonna be terrible. And it's the number one reason why people run AdWords when they when they have a business um, get killed and then swear it off forever and never use it again. So what I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you right now actually what I'm talking about. So let's go into one of our ad groups. Keywords. Okay, so the, this keyword, this is the quotes around it. The quotes are phrase. So that's how you make a keyword a phrase match. This is how you make an exact match. It has brackets around it. And modified broad, I'm not sure if we have any in this campaign, but modified broad is plus signs. So we would take this keyword. We're going to add a keyword. So we make this keyword modified broad match is this plus in front of each word of the keyword. Now hold on, don't get confused because I'm going to explain what each one does, why they're different. So that's the three match types you want to use, okay? Modified broad match, phrase match, exact match. Very important. So if we go over to Google's help tool here, this is kind of in-depth more explanation of what each match type is and if you ever get lost you can always just type in whatever you want in here. And I'm, or just start to our channel and show you a video for it. So this is broad match pretty much. So if you were bidding on the keyword women's hats, Google will show your ads for buy ladies hats or a bunch of other random stuff that really eventually will just have nothing to do with women's hats. Men's soccer shoes or whatever will probably show up for this if it was broad match. It's very, very, they call it broad match for a reason. It just pulls in all a bunch of broad search queries and Want, it just wants to show your ad for everything. And trust me, I know it might be like, well, if my ad says it's for ladies' hats or whatever, no one's going to click it. No, they will. <laughs> You'll be surprised because they will click it and you will have to pay for it. And it's going to waste a ton of your money. So broad match modifier or modified broad match is what I like to call it. Is basically you just put the plus signs in front of each word in the keyword. And so that's telling Google, Google, don't show my ad unless it has each word that, ha that has a plus um, in front of it. Unless each one of those words is in the search query that's being searched, okay? So it's kind of just tightening it down the search a little more, so you're getting better, um, better quality. Phrase match. Here we go, and it's it's basically just shows close variations of your keyword that you want to go after. So you can see here it says women's hats, buy women's hats. It's it's going to be really close, like how broad match really should be. That's really what phrase match is going to be. Exact match is going to be the closest possible match to the exact keyword. So it can be like inverted like this, women's hats, hats for women, but it's going to be extremely tight, tightened down and close to what you're doing. And that's, that's what you want to have. Okay. And this is probably the number one thing we see when we audit other people's campaigns is the match types are all wrong. Okay. So you want to, each keyword you have in an ad group, you want to have these three lot of, uh, match types for that keyword. Very, very, very important. All right, and now you might be thinking, well, how the hell am I going to put all these match types on one keyword to take forever from an Excel, blah, blah, blah. No problem. We have a tool here for you, something we use called AdWords Wrapper. It's really cool. This guy, Michael Wong. Thanks, buddy. Great job. Um, so he created this tool, and basically, let's say you're still going with women's hats. I can spell. You would hit that. So that's your keyword you want to wrap, or you put all your keywords for the ad group, obviously, in here. So you put all your keyword tree ad group in here, and you hit wrap keywords, and it wraps them in all the match types. And the three we want to do are right up here, the first box on the right. Modified broad, phrase, exact. And then you just copy, 
and paste them right into your ad group. So that's how you're gonna do the match types. Now it's it's just really important, guys. I cannot stress this enough. If you don't know what you're doing, j just stay away from bug match. We see people all the time that just get killed with this. And I have seen campaigns in the health insurance industry and other industries like life insurance where people were running broad match and they did really well. And it's just like a freak of nature. I don't know how it happened, but the most of the campaigns I've seen them in, the people didn't really know what they were doing. They just got lucky. So don't make that mistake. Do it right from the beginning and they'll increase your lead quality too. Because uh, broad match usually drives a lot of like shit leads. Like the quality is crap. Like a lot of them I've seen are people looking for the person running the camp. Like, so you, let's say you're a roofer, XYZ Roofing is our example campaign we use. So say we're XYZ Roofing or running broad match keywords for roofing contractors or whatever. We'll get key, we'll get clicks and leads from people looking for another roofing company. And they're basically garbage. I mean, they're, hey, is this John's Roofing? And no, it's XYZ. Oh, well, bye and hang up. And that's it. You wasted, you know, $40 or whatever it is to get your lead. So that's that's pretty much it for keyword match types. This video is real real simple. It's not really that advanced. It's if you just stick to this, you'll be fine running AdWords along with negative keywords, which I'm going to drop a link in the description below this video on a video of how we how we find and add negative keywords into an AdWords campaign and why you need them. It's very good. It's a good video. So you'll definitely want to check that out after you're done watching this one. But to add keywords, obviously you would just come up into your campaign. We're in an ad group here. And you would just drop them in. Once you have them with the match types you want, you just drop them right in here and hit save. All right, negative keywords come up here. Same deal. Hit the plus sign. You want to add them at the ad group or the campaign level. You would paste them in here and hit save. So you also keep in mind when you're, if you're doing negative keywords, and like I said, it's a watch the video below in the description below this video, and I'll explain negative keywords to you. But you, the match types they do matter when you're adding negative keywords as well. So make sure. You watch the video below because if you if you mess up negative keywords, it's gonna kill you too. Very very important. You gotta dance between raindrops with Google, guys. That's just the way it is. All right. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up below. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. Subscribe to our channel. Um, check out the links in the description. I'm gonna put those video links down there. I went to our Facebook group. And other than that, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.